I mean, the world doesn't need any more pretty pictures. Perfect. Never had a place in painting. At least not for Jay Moore. People are going to look at this and say, he paints with the brush upside down and backwards? Jay finds perfection in his muse. This is the White River that runs through here. In elementary school, my fellow students would pay me to do drawings of just whatever. Like they would commission me for 25 cents to paint a cowboy on a horse. Now he paints landscapes at his studio in Parker. You know, you don't really think about that your back's getting sore or you don't think that, oh, it's two o'clock and I haven't had lunch yet. When his back finally complains, he gives that and his brain a break. Well, I gotta figure out what, what chords I can do without the string. Imperfections be damned. This is life, you get broken strings and you keep going. Each brush stroke is a note in his composition. It's like tuning a orchestra, you know, getting all the pieces to work together. For Jay, the harmonies are strongest on the west side of Rocky Mountain National Park. I've painted this particular bend in the river from slightly different angles, you know, maybe a dozen times. The spot he's been visiting for two decades has transformed over the years. Because the beetle kill is starting to work its way down into the valley. October 2020 brought the biggest change. Jay watched on TV as the East Troublesome Fire exploded. I'm preparing kind of for the worst and hoping that it's not as bad as I think it is, but I'm... I'm he doesn't know if his place uh, is still perfect. I'm worried. <laughs> Boy, that must have been hot coming through here. The fire is the second largest in Colorado history. This valley was pretty much at the epicenter, it looks like. It destroyed or damaged 366 homes and killed two people. Let's go see. As it raced through nearly 200,000 acres, including the west side of Rocky Mountain National Park. These trees have fallen down into the water that obviously weren't there. The river has changed its path. There used to be a little sandbar. Flames must have just been licking through here like balls of fire. I still love this spot. It's like, a, it's like you can't fall out of love with this spot. This is my spot. Color and light, angles and soft curves. The ingredients for a masterpiece are still here. I do a lot of squinting when I paint. You probably get a lot of funny expressions. Jay concentrates on the good. It's part of the forest and part of the cycle. And we just happen to be living in that part of the cycle. He knows the scars he sees don't compare to the hurt the community feels. This is your home that you built or that your family has lived in and come back to it. That would be another level of grief. This little rock sticking out from my previous painting is like an old friend. Old friends might notice changes, but good friends embrace them. Opposites create interest in a painting, so life, death, even the reds that we see right here are, are beautiful, I think. Now, more than ever, Jay appreciates the poetry that can come from imperfection. It got knocked to its knees, but it didn't get knocked out.